Hello friends, hope everything is fine with you guys. In this lecture, we will understand switch statement. So, what is a switch statement? Well, let me show you how to write it. Then I will explain where you can use it. So, let's define a variable, say where x equals 10. Now, let's write the switch statement. It starts with the switch keyword then inside parenthesis we'll be having the expression say for example x i'm showing you just a basic example now inside curly braces we'll be having cases now let's write here case 5 and then we have provided a colon so what is this case is a keyword and then we are providing the value of x so what we are checking that if x equals 5 or not so first switch then provide the expression inside parenthesis and then inside curly braces just check using the case keyword and then provide the value of x it is checking whether the value of x is 5 or not then here we'll be having the code say for example document dot write value of x is 5 then provide a semicolon and you need to provide here the keyword break i'm explaining you everything just wait then we'll be having say case 10 let me copy this press ctrl c and let's paste here case 10 we'll be having the value of x is 10 save it and like this you'll be having say many cases say 15 25 and another we'll be having that is default where let's copy this one press ctrl c paste it where we'll be having a default code say value of x is something else let's save it so let me go through the concept one more time first we have defined the variable x then we are checking the value of x using the switch statement so first you need to provide the keyword switch then provide the expression so here we are checking the value of x now case 5 here we are checking whether the value of x is 5 or not if 5 then this code block will be executed and then it will break break means it will not execute this part and the execution will just get out of this block and then it will execute just after this block like this now say for example the value of x is not 5 then it will not break and it will start executing this one now if case 10 so if the value of x is 10 it will execute this part so what it is getting so if case 10 it will write that value of x is 10 and then it will break break means it is getting out of the code block so let's see what happens let's open in browser and check value of x is 10 so it is matching with the case 10 now let's provide here a different value let's say 56 let's save it come here hit refresh now what do you think which code block will execute so it is not 5 not 10 not 15 not 25 and hence it will execute the default one which is value of x is something else so let's come here hit refresh see value of x is something else so this is how you can use the switch statement it is similar to if else statement i mean the logic is same 
say for example if x equals 5 then execute this else if value of x is 10 then execute this one else if the value of x is 15 execute this part else if value of x is 25 execute this part else execute this one so the thing which a switch statement can do can also be done using if else statement so that's it friends i hope that you have understood the concept of switch statement and hope you have enjoyed it so see you in the next lecture till then have fun take care